I believe the right to assembly, that is the right to gather and protest against government, is one of the most fundamental principles of democracy. Uh, as long as it is peaceful, as long as it respects the rights and liberties of other people, uh, it is constitutionally protected and we must allow people to be able to protest against the government. The problem right now in Thailand is that there are fractions of protesters who doesn't seem to respect the law. Well, first of all, I think the people who came out and speak uh, on the subject of, of, of separations of uh, the, the Thai kingdom into separate parts is just an expression of their uh, concern that their voices are not being heard, that people in Bangkok, especially the protest movement led by Khun Sutev, is getting the momentum without caring about the people in other places in Thailand. So I think right now, from what we've seen, uh, we can regard those uh, demand or those requests as an expression of their, um, of their discontent with Thai politics in general. But to ask whether this is legal and possible, the answer is straightforward. It is unconstitutional, it is illegal, it is a crime. I don't think so. I don't think it's politically viable right now. I think it would add uh, more burdens to the government. I think, first of all, there needs to be some sincere attempts to talk. And by saying sincere attempts, it's not going to be a debate show between Khun Sotep and, and the Prime Minister. There needs to be a clear agreement that we need to uphold the Constitution. We can't simply say that we're going to disregard certain provisions of the Constitution and then let's have talks on how to solve the problem because otherwise the people who demand the respect for the Constitution would come out and there will be more problems. So the first step is to uphold certain basic fundamental rule and that is the Constitution. And if Khun Sutep agrees with this notion that the Constitution must be upheld, then I think Khun Sutep and the Prime Minister would have lots of rooms to discuss. The second thing that needs to be done, actually as important as the first thing, is to have a peaceful election and convene the parliament. Right now, I don't think the election commission has done to the fullest extent that it could do to make sure that there is an election. Something I proposed several times is for the election commission to file a case through the attorney general to the constitutional court asking the court to rule that whoever intervenes with the elections, especially in Bangkok in the south, are acting in contrary to the constitution and therefore those actions must be stopped. I think what we need to understand is that the most uh, straightforward uh, difference between myself and Khun Sutep is the method, is the procedure to achieve the fight against corruption. He has plenty of good ideas to reform Thailand, but I don't think people will agree with him uh, that by postponing or cancelling elections and have this ambiguous body, the People's Council, that is no longer being put forward by Khun Sutep anymore right now, is going to solve or push forward any, ref any fruitful reform mechanisms. What I think needs to happen is for the parties to come to the negotiating table and say, we agree with the constitution, we need to uphold the constitution, and then the reform ideas can be generated through that process. But if we have different sets of minds on how to run the country, one party saying we need to respect the constitution, the other side say, well, the constitution doesn't work, so let's disregard certain provisions, then we have a very fundamental problem there.